Okay, uh, hi everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm Adam. I'm CEO of ARNF. Our team consists of four people. We are a team from Poland. So one of my teammates is currently uh, in the audience. And today I want to tell you about ARNAV, that means Augmented Reality Navigation. And ARNAV is meant to be easy to use, uh, intuitive uh, navigation for pedestrians and tourists. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, literally nothing has changed since ages in the way people are informed what is around them, right? It's the same standard flat surface, whether it's paper map or papyrus or Google map. And moreover, large proportions of people cannot relate their current position on the flat map to some distant place on this, on this map. So what they expect is a simple point of a finger, right? To tell them that there is ATM and there is uh, cinema. So answer for the question, the solution for that is called augmented reality. And it's a new, better, more efficient, and I hope so, more awesome way of showing you what is around you. And simply, you look through the camera, and the information is overlaid on top of it, as it's a look on the screenshot. And when you move to different location, you change the angle of a view, this marker, it looks like it is still pinpointed to this uh, sp specific point. So, one more time to sum up. Uh, you no more look on the flat map, rotate it, rotate with the map. No, you just look through this device like, like it's a kind of a window to some virtual world and you turn around you and you finally know that, aha, uh -huh, this place in this direction is uh, ATM, there is uh, some cinema, for example. Okay, but uh, we have more. I want to tell, show you something w that we are currently working on, and it's a classical turn-by-turn -turn navigation. And it looks like this. All you have to do is just simply walk through this blue gate and go along these yellow lines, yellow arrows. And I know we are currently working on improving this app improving our engine, making it more fluent, more uh, smoother, adding some animations, some cool colors, cool features. But I want to stress one important thing, that it is only an intermediate step. Our ultimate solution will be integrating our, our engine with devices of a future that will soon enter the market. And I mean, uh, and I'm talking here about transparent displays. And I'm sure that uh, that will make navigation a truly spectacular experience. OK, let's get back to presentation. All right. Uh, this engine has plenty of use cases. Definitely, we want to deploy the basic version of our app that will be a point of interest browser. Uh, next in line is uh, turn-by-turn turn navigation that was shown before, but we want to go deeper. We want to, we, we actually, uh, uh, we are thinking, thinking about uh, some specific group of, tour, uh, of clients that will be outdoor tourists, and we already partnered with a Polish uh, team guys from TrailPL, and they uh, they have largest d database uh, of trails in Poland, soon expanding to whole Europe. And we agreed that their content could be displayed in our app, making it completely new and unique service globally that was never accessible before. And I mean by that showing trails, showing uh, when you are uh, in mountains, showing peaks and trails in this augmented reality mode. Uh, other use cases like offline map packages, gamification, city guides, even uh, the event of uh, Euro 2012. These are very cool topics, and I welcome, I invite you to speak after my, with me uh, after this presentation due to limited time. Uh, of course, there are a lot of companies that do navigation. 
but mainly all these guys, uh, TomTom, Google Maps, uh, NaviExpert, they mainly focus on uh, drivers, on this use case when you are driving. And I want to clearly state that I want to focus on pedestrians and tourists. And on the other hand, existing uh, AR solutions are, I think they are really hard to use, are overly complicated. I don't know if you use any of them, Layar, Junio, Wikitude. They are great, but I want to be better than them. I want to be more easy to use and more intuitive. Uh, okay, augmented reality market is huge right now. And in few years, it's gonna literally explode, right? So there's a great opportunity here to offer something new, something fresh, something better. Uh, our business model uh, will be like that. Uh, ads displayed in the free version of our app, selling paid apps, but we are also thinking about some B2B solution like allowing third parties to, uh, to put their content in our database. Okay, if you like our app, our idea, you, if you want to make it spectacular, please vote for us. Thank you so much for your attention. I welcome you to our booth. Adam, thank you. Why don't you come on over and we'll take some questions. I will use this mic here. And Carlos. So, so the, the problem with augmented reality is that most companies have is the inaccuracy of the GPS. Because GPS yeah. is just not good enough for augmented reality. So what yeah. Layer and Junai and these companies are doing um, yeah. is adding image recognition. But that's a hard to solve problem uh -huh. if you want to do it in real time. So how are you guys dealing with that? Well, uh, actually, we are currently working on implementing this uh, uh, image recognition uh, uh, patterns, but by putting, uh, uh, in t we want to test it with some QR codes, putting in some uh, different places uh, in in uh, in city, just to you know make make it uh, make it work really. Uh, we want to make it uh, really pinpointed. To, to this specific location. I know that GPS is uh, not so reliable, but uh, right now the accuracy of five meters is okay. But what you told uh, is, uh, is a step for the, uh, for the next milestone for us to, to implement the image recognition and yeah. To, to make so, it. so you need to have the QR codes hanging around in the city uh, somewhere for you app to work? Actually, maybe. Yeah, maybe it, the future maybe it will look like this. You know, to 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 uh, to make this device to know in which direction is it heading, right? I, I can't figure out a better solution for for this right now. GPS is okay. It's for for me five meters is okay for for this uh, accuracy. And in in outdoors it's it's better. I agree t totally. I mean. Where are you from? Uh, from Poland. Poland? Yeah. So this is the first Polish startup I've ever seen. So I think oh. give, everybody give a hand Thank to the you. Polish startup scene. Thank you. Great. It's, it's, it's good to see uh, innovation coming out of uh, Poland. How long have you been working on this? Uh, actually, uh, I started almost a year ago, but uh, I work on this for full time for about four or three months. And, uh, I was part of a uh, startup accelerator started from uh, August this uh, this year, and yeah, they accelerated my idea, and we are pushing it forward. So, and if I understood you correctly, the way you want to differentiate is you want to focus on pedestrians exactly. and simplify the user Exa experience. Exactly, that that's a two main keywords of of my startup: simplify uh, the use case and and uh, focusing on pedestrians. Uh, are, are you counting on kind of heads-up displays for the uh, for the uh, uh, navigation through visual nav or? Yeah, it it could be implemented in glasses, but it's it will be perfectly fine for me to to implement my idea with this handheld devices because I I, I saw some so you're uh, sort of holding prototypes. It in front of you, you're walking. Yeah, but with it not constantly. Of course, not constantly. Uh, I'm I'm not expecting you to all the time walk like this. Just 
it's just that it should be advice, right? To tell you where, where to go, okay, I pick it to my, uh, to my pocket and w when I need it again, I just, you know, advise. I will say that when I get out of subways, I wish I had that, right? I want to get okay. out of a subway and go, oh, and it says, this yeah. way is stupid, and then, go, oh, okay, that way. Because yeah, I always end up going about at least a half a block too far the wrong way mm -hmm. before I, oh, that's fact, not right. Before you get out of the subway. Yeah. Gary. Gary? In fact, before you get out of the subway, so you know which exit to use. Yeah. Um, you, you put up a slide earlier on about the, the, the business model. Have you got any yeah. revenue coming in yet? Uh, not yet. We are starting, we hope to deploy our basic uh, version of our app by the end of this year, maybe on the beginning of of next year, but yeah, it's almost completed. It's 90%. I, could, I, I invite you to my booth. We can talk. I can show you how does it work. But uh, actually, you can, uh, and any of you uh, could subscribe for uh, our newsletter to, to access to our, uh, to our beta test application. But I, mm, I think it's 90% completed. OK, thank you. OK. Great. Great, well that's it for the questions. And Adam, thank you very much. Thank and congratulations you. Thank you so on the much. launch.